Question number 18. If the distance between point A located at 3 comma x and point B located at x comma y, if this distance between these two guys is 2, then what's x? Well, to solve this question, you need to remember the distance formula. But instead of memorizing the distance formula, I like to always quickly derive it using the Pythagorean theorem. The less you have to remember, the better. So what do I mean by this? Let's say 3 comma x is over here. And this point is x comma 1. Well, I want this distance. And to get the distance, I'm going to draw in a triangle to help me out. This point is x over and x up. I have a right triangle. This distance is x minus 3. Right? Because if this is 3 over, this is x over, then this distance is x minus 3. Similarly, this point is 1 up, this point is just x up, so this height is, from here to here, is just 1 minus x. We can now use the Pythagorean theorem which tells us that x minus 3 squared plus y minus, uh, sorry, 1 minus x squared is equal to this distance squared. So how, how am I going to solve this? What I'll do is I'll expand out collect terms and see what we have. So I just wrote out what it means to square. That's equal to 4. And then I can just FOIL these guys out. The first term is x squared. Outer is minus 3x. Inner is minus 3x, or minus 6x. Again, minus 3x, minus another 3x is minus 6x. And then last, minus 3 times minus 3, 4 plus 9. Again, first, outer, and last. We have first, which is 1. Outer is minus x. Minus another x gives us minus 2x. Last gives me x squared. And that's equal to 4. So it looks like I've got a quadratic here. And the name of the game of the quadratic to solve it is bring everybody to one side and see if you can factor it. So it looks like I've got two of these guys, x squared another x squared or 2x squared. In terms of x terms, looks like I have minus 6, minus 2, or minus 8x. I've got a plus 10 on this side, a plus 4 on this side, and what I could do is subtract the 4 from both sides. So this 10 minus 4 becomes a 6. Well, this is a pretty nasty quadratic factor. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2, or said another way, let me multiply both sides by a half to make this problem a little bit more palatable. On the left-hand side, a half times 2x squared is x squared. A half times minus 8x is minus 4x. And a half times 6 is just 3. 
So let me get rid of all the information that I don't need and then see where we are. So to solve this guy, let's see if we can factor it. What do you guys think? That's right. We factored as x minus 3 times x minus 1. And the reason for that is these two numbers multiply together to get 3, and they add together to get the middle term, the minus 4x. So I don't need this anymore. Looks like this question has two possible solutions. x could be 3 or x could be 1. x could be 1. 